Hello, Tifton Baptist Church. This is your Friday Word of Encouragement for March 4th, 2022. I come to you with a word from A.W. Tozer, uh, who has many different writings that I've referred to most recently, but one of the things he has written in a book of his called The Pursuit of God uh, has to do with our, our uh, daily life with God, uh, specifically our life with God through Jesus Christ, our faith in Jesus. In his book, Tozer writes these words, God wills that we should push on into his presence and live our whole life there. He wills that we should push into his presence and live our lives there in his presence. He goes on to say, this is to be known to us in conscious experience. It is more than a doctrine to be held. It is a life to be enjoyed every moment of every day. These words, they really moved me because most of us go through our days and our weeks and we have moments of time that we have planned and, and set aside for different things. And many times there's different things we do with different people. Uh, but these these are times that we spend doing things and times we spend with people that begin and end. Uh, coming to worship on Sunday is one example. We get up, we have time scheduled to perhaps eat breakfast and, and prepare for worship and go to a building with the church and worship, fellowship, and then go home and do our thing the rest of the day, and then go to Monday's workplace, and so on and so forth. With God, it's not that way, a time set aside to be with Him, and then times when we're doing other things without Him. Tozer highlights an important point, and it's a point that God wants for us, and that is for us to spend our days with Him, uh, inviting Him to be a foundational part of our daily life, experienced daily you know, when Paul writes in Philippians chapter 3 that whatever things were gained to him, those things he counted loss for the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, Paul said, everything compared to Jesus, even good things when compared to Jesus, were rubbish. They were lost. They weren't valuable when compared to Jesus. When we see Jesus Christ this valuable, and, and perhaps in our study in John, God will will give us a, a better magnification of who his son is, how wonderful God is in the person of Jesus, that we'll look to have our days filled with the presence of the living God, trusting in Jesus, communing with him, talking with him, giving thanks to him and praise for the things that might seem redundant, but are gifts, like a, a day that's sunny, like today on Friday here in central Pennsylvania. Uh, like fresh water, warm clothes, a bed and a pillow to sleep on. million people right now across the globe don't even have those simple necessities. God is with us. He's shown us his goodness. And when we look to see his goodness and, and be saturated by his presence and all of the things that we go through from day to day, all the changes of activities and places and different people we encounter, when we look to go through all of those, with the presence of the living God, by experiencing him through the whole day, day after day after day, then we're pushing into what God's will for us is. Tozer said it right. It's God's desire that we want him and desire him and commune with him through the days every day. He is that valuable. Paul wrote about it. Peter spoke of it. John talks of it. But is that our experience day to day? Uh, my days are busy just like most, if not all of yours. We do things, we get busy, we do this, we do that. We see different people. We set times aside to do different things. Let's remember and be encouraged that it is God's will that no matter what we're going through in our days and what activities we're up to, God's presence the whole way through is to be with us by his own desire and his own direction. He wants to be with us. He wants us to know he is, invite him to be with us day to day, moment to moment, and experience days. This is the normalcy of what God would consider a Christian life to be. So let's be encouraged. This is God's plan for us. This is his will for us to actually have his presence saturating every moment, each day. Not that we have moments that we do things without him, but we're cognizant and thinking about all that we're doing to be done with him as if he's right there with us. He hasn't left. We're never isolated. We're never alone. Not a believer. Think of this. Be encouraged by it. Realize that this is what God wants. He wants to, to, you to recognize him coming with you. 
through your days, all through the day, every single day, every moment of the day. This is encouraging. About the time when I feel we're at a loss, when I watch the news about what Russia is doing, I'm saddened and I'm, I'm heartbroken. God is with people. He's not left them alone. He's with me. He's with them. Uh, he is smarter, stronger, wiser. We can trust him. Let's carry this encouragement, not only into the matters that we see across the globe, but carry this uh, perception and understanding from Paul and other scriptural writers, from Tozer and other powerful writers. Uh, let's, let's carry this sentiment into our days and, and lift people up with it. It's true. And might it be that when we enter a place or a conversation uh, or a workplace or a house of a neighbor or friend, might it be that when we enter, the experiential presence of the living God is knowingly with us and we're walking with God into our days and our activities. Uh, that might just change your outlook a little bit in good ways. So I hope this encourages you. Uh, I look forward to Sunday being in John chapter 1. It's going to be a, a wonderful series as we continue uh, moving into John 1 through however many chapters we can get through until here summertime. Looking forward to it. It's exciting to read of Jesus and to know him closer and more intimately. Um, until Sunday, stay in the word. See you then.